for a delicious treat called a sable breton so what you need for that is uh, eight eggs in the electric mixer you need 200 grams of caster sugar 250 grams of soft uh, butter two lemon zest vanilla you can use vanilla pods two vanilla pods but i'm using vanilla paste and also 250 grams of flour and a baking tray with uh, lined with uh, baking paper and a rubber spatula and you also need to preheat your oven at uh, 180 degrees so we'll start by by creaming the eggs and the sugar together excuse me it's just going to be a little bit noisy oh, hang on if i don't plug it in at the back sorry for that now just start it on the medium speed I'm just I'm just gonna beat it whisk it until you got like a white creamy mixture you can use that recipe for a different uh, different ways you can just use it as a, just with the sable by itself or you can use it as a base uh, to make a tart so say if you make a strawberry tart for example you can um, make the sable uh, in the big circle using a cookie cutter and then you can do like a custard or creme pâtissier or even just a coulis and uh, just place the strawberry or the raspberry on top might actually do something like that later on just to show you guys what I mean so see how it's starting to get nice and creamy just gonna beat it for a little bit longer Then once we got the, the mixture to where we want it, we're just going to change to this attachment, the paddle. So take the whisk off, put this on, and we're going to add the butter, the lemon zest, the vanilla paste, and uh, I've also put um, the flour, then I've put it through a sieve so there's no lumps, and also uh, 12 grams of the baking powder in the flour itself. Yeah, see the red nice ribbon that's why that's where you want it to be so we're just going to take that off just put it aside i'm just going to put it in my so next we're just going to add about two tablespoon two teaspoons sorry of uh, vanilla the lemon zest bit sticky so if you can use organic lemons I'm using the one from uh, from my garden and I might actually show you my lemon tree is pretty amazing the but I reckon there's about 40 kilos of lemon on there so I'm trying to use them as much as I can now just gonna put the butter and then flour I'm going to put this on there you go so just start it on on low if you got one of these to put it on top
you just want to beat it to get a, a uniform dough just so it's nice and smooth For this recipe, I've used uh, salted butter. You don't have to, to use uh, salted if you don't want to. Um, I just like it, just add a little bit of, uh, you know, a little bit more taste, a bit of uh, flavor and answer. It looks nice and creamy. I'm just gonna scrape a bit off the paddle. you want it to be a bit soft but not not too soft not too runny so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna grab I'm gonna grab like some cookie cutters so you want them I mean size is really up to you but maybe I'm gonna make this one there's no number on it but I'm gonna put it there and I'm just gonna grease my cookie cutter just a little bit so it doesn't stick too much. Now, let's hang on one second. You have to forgive me for moving the phone so much. As I've ordered, uh, tell you what happened, I've ordered a, um, a stand from Amazon and it still hasn't arrived because I canceled the first order for some reason. So hopefully this is the last video that I do without an actual holder so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put my phone like this I'm actually resting my phone on a wine box um, just grab a spoon what you do you just put some of the mixture into the circles So you want it maybe about like just under half really. So what I do is I, I spray my finger with a bit of um, with a bit of spray. Or if you don't have spray, you can use a bit of oil. And you push it down like this. Like this and then with the fork you just just do like a cross like this you just keep going until you've used the whole the whole mixture you just space them so but I'll show you another one you just space them but Just so when they bake, they're gonna they're gonna rise a little bit due to the baking powder that we put in there. So you don't want them too close. 
otherwise they're gonna stick to each other. There you go, so you just do like this, just bake them about, just about like this, and then you fill up your tray and bake them. I'm going to bake mine at 180 for about 10 to 12 minutes. I'll check them after 10 minutes. Now, uh, each oven is different, so just check them after 10 minutes. Uh, you want like a nice golden color all around. Um, and then you can hit them, you can eat them straight away, you know, with a little bit of jam, a bit of butter on top. Or you can keep them, they keep for about, you know, like five days really, you want them as fresh as possible. Put them in an airtight container and enjoy, share with your friends, your family. Uh, I hope you guys stay safe out there. If you like the video, please hit uh, subscribe or you can leave a comment. Uh, you can leave a comment and I'll be happy to, to answer if you got any questions. You can also, I put the link in, uh, you can check out my Instagram page or my blog. And I'll see you next time for another video, guys. See you. Have a good night.